We also agree that on both sides of the Atlantic, we have to address economic frustrations and anxieties of many of our people, feelings that undoubtedly contributed to the Brexit vote, fears that they're leaving, uh, being left behind by globalization and economic integration. Our governments, including the EU, cannot be remote institutions. They have to be responsive and move more quickly with minimal bureaucracy to deliver real economic progress in the lives of ordinary people. In particular, we discuss the importance of public investments like infrastructure, education, innovation, and security to stimulate growth and job training to help reduce inequality and unemployment, especially for young people here in Europe. That's been the right thing to do for years, both for the long term and the short term. But at a time when heightened uncertainty in the global economy is potentially amplifying the headwinds uh, that we all face, uh, these policies make even more sense today.